afternoon ladies and gentlemen i am gabela masopa and welcome to my youtube channel uh, please subscribe hit the notification bell and don't forget to like the video and leave a comment so today we are going to be uh, reviewing a movie called uh, the broken hearts gallery this movie was uh, released in 2020 and was directed by natalie grinsky yes it was directed by natalie grinsky uh, back then uh, in the information that i have i saw that the movie has about uh, back in 2020 had made about 4.8 million usd dollars on box office and its budget wa was 8 million so it kind of seems like a loss but i really don't know what's up in the movie industry anyway but uh, about the movie the movie is based on lucy the character called lucy and nick the main character in this movie is lucy and lucy is played by a, a female actress called geraldine viswanathan yes it's geraldine with viswanathan so lucy in the movie is a girl who comes from a, a relationship and his boyfriend broke up with her and she was devastated and broken the relationship uh, the, the, after his after her boyfriend left her she was really 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 devastated so she opened the gallery whereby people who have experienced the very same thing who have been heartbroken who are devastated because of love uh, could go and put the things that they had from their, their past relationships petty things like headphones uh, maybe a cup clothes petty stuff which which they 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 used to remember some of the memories they had with their ex-boyfriends or girlfriends so she met up with this guy nick uh, who was also devastated and heartbroken after his girlfriend left him for his boss whoa so they met and together they plan to open this gallery uh, the things i like about the movie is the relationship between lucy and her friends they seem to have a very very solid relationship and that's one of the things that we as people would like like really really Having a, that kind of a bond with your friends can create so many things and can push you to, to do things which are positive, more positive than anything. They can they help you when you are down, they pick the up, they, they are the ones who help to get over uh, her ex-boyfriend and kind of like find a way to move on and let go of the past. So she, she kept petty stuff which she used to re to remember or like have me to to be, to put herself back in the memories of what it was like being in love with her exes and it was more than one ex so she ended up opening this gallery with this guy Nick and it was very very successful and it helped a lot of people heal from their uh, devastation and pain and those who were broken down were able to rise up again and try new things it's a very inspirational movie because like i think the whole content of the movie is based on real life events you know like i'm pretty sure that all of us maybe if not all <laughs> but i think all of us uh, have been heartbroken at some point and we didn't know what to do to heal we never had anybody open a broken heart gallery for us to go and uh, lose all our memories there leave everything behind and heal and move on forget about our past and ex uh, a critique i would like to give to the movie is is that there are there are some scenes which as a person you can predict what's going to be next some scenes are very very predictable for instance uh, nick and lucy Made, had a relationship they fell in love with each other and then dated and the reason why i said 
it, it was kind of predictive is because that happened during like the before even the quarter of the movie like so you already know that if something like that happens there's something else bad or negative that is going to happen afterwards so one would predict something like that and see that and it happens just like that so but in the end they fixed things and began to carry on with their relationship and they were now on the same level with each other they loved each other mutually and it was kind of like a very great see, a great thing to see uh, again this movie teaches us that in fact the movie taught me that uh, it's not wise to have to play back and forth games with your ex if you have broken up with your ex and then they want you back and then you break up again they want you back is it's, it's not a healthy thing it's, it's kind of like it leads to the things which you say which in my title uh, an unhealthy relationship or a toxic relationship because their exes only remembered them or called them up when things were not going great for them that means like they were somehow using them so that's the lesson i took out of this movie as for the graphics wow i would give i give it 100 percent on the graphics uh the quality of the movie is very top it's a 10 out of 10. uh the content i think i also fell in love with the content because i was able to relate to it I was able to relate to what was happening and everything that went down. Another thing that I fell in love with was the main character being Lucy. Uh, she's a very brave girl who, who tries by all means, who tried and tries by all means to see that uh, all her friends are happy. She's not a selfish girl. She's not selfish. She thinks for other people she's very uh, charismatic i fell in love with her because wow those are the qualities that one would wish that their friends had or something like that so on the on the part of uh, i think characters all the characters i everybody played their role in a very precise way in a perfect way and it was it was satisfying it was satisfying the acting and everything was satisfying uh, the movie is about uh, one hour and 48 minutes long so a lot happens a lot happened within that time frame and it's a great movie all in all I think it's a great movie and I would recommend people to watch it especially those who are heartbroken you know we can get closure on how to move on and leave things of the past behind us and carry on with life. Yeah, that's that's all I can say. Oh, again, uh, Nick is a guy who had a dream. He had bought a, a compound in which he was trying to do something special uh, and he was funded by his ex-girlfriend which is kind of like the most the most 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 uh, uncomfortable thing i think it was uncomfortable because if your ex was is the one who invests in the things that you do how are you going to move on how are you going to let things go and carry on with your life because nick was never over his ex-girlfriend he was so so madly in love with her and the their relationship with lucy when they started dating was broken because lucy found him with this ex in their in that apartment or compound he had bought and it seemed like the guy wasn't sure whether he wants to move on or let me say he was just stuck with his ex until he finally realized that the very same ex that his ex was just using him and 
he came to his senses and found a way to move on and that's when they opened the broken hearts gallery together with lucy uh, another thing that is amazing about the movie is the setting i think like it was in a city which is the, the bright colors you could see the, the the movie is very colorful that's what that's one of the things that i love about that movie the movie was very 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 is very very colorful and if a movie is created with colors and you already know if the graphics are tops even if the movie is bad i think i for one would watch it yeah i would i would really watch it the graphics are the things that attract us visually they they pin us to the screen even when the content is not that strong or the writing is just not that great and this is what the movie this movie brought on the table again it's actors as i said i give them 100 percent on their acting abilities they gave us they gave me they gave me uh, everything that i needed or everything that i expected to see when i saw uh, the trailer of the movie so all in all the movie was satisfying and I feel like if there was a part two of this movie, well, I would definitely watch it too because it's so relatable. It's so relatable. I related a lot to this movie, so I highly recommend people to watch it. And yeah, that's all. Thank you.